Hi guys, Jordan here from 499 and finally I have the Microsoft Lumia 950 XL for an unboxing here on 499. It's a pretty interesting Lumia device, probably one of the best uh, Windows phones to come out since the launch of Windows Phone itself. Very well specced, uh, crazy specs actually. It's got a Snapdragon 810, a 5.7 inch screen and it's got dual uh, nano SIM, 4G support. Uh, it's got built in memory as well as a micro SD expansion. It's probably the dream phone for Windows fans. So. This is the retail box it comes in. This is the black variant as you can see here. It's a sealed unit, it's gonna be breaking the seal here. And as you can see, this is the uh, retail box, very plain vanilla and very similar to the all Microsoft products now. So Nokia, formerly uh, the company making the hardware made Lumia, so it was Nokia Lumia, now it's Microsoft Lumia. And it's, I think it started with the 640 series, the ch name change to branding change to Microsoft. So you can see Microsoft Lumia 950XL dual SIM. Uh, been digging to have a dual sim uh, windows device and uh, high end one so finally we have it here the microsoft lumia 950 xl so as you can see it's powered by a qualcomm snapdragon processor runs on windows 10 and it, it's got carl zs optics it's got a 20 megapixel camera on the back really looking forward to trying it out i think this is probably the best uh, windows phone uh, with a good camera after the lumia 9 uh, 1020 and here we have the specs on the back as well so the MRP at launch was about 57,000 uh, odd rupees, so it was 57,699 at launch. But now it's down to about 49,600 odd rupees, which is a good uh, uh, difference. It's about 6, 7,000 down from the original price. It's been a couple of months since it went on uh, sale. So here we have it. So let's open up this box here. We made the box very similar to the Surface uh, boxes, pretty hard cardboard here. And here we have it. So. This is the box and there's the device itself. Wow, this is a white one. It looks like black on the front, but this is actually the white version. Didn't uh, manage to read the text on the outside, but beautiful uh, black and white combination here on the device. So let's actually get it out of this plastic uh, material here. So here we go. It's a matte, uh, lovely matte uh, back on the back and beautiful camera module, really big. Really huge, it's a 20 megapixel uh, Carl Zeiss optics, uh, pure view. It's actually the pure view. So you might, uh, might remember the 808 pure view, which was the last Symbian phone, uh, camera phone from Nokia. So the, all those optics and all those technologies moved on to the Lumia lineup. So you have pure view and Zeiss optics on the 950XL and this does capture 4K video as well. So this is a loudspeaker on the back and uh, you have the Windows branding here at the bottom. So these seem like microphones here. I think it has really good microphones for picking up the audio. And would love to see this in black too. This looks really beautiful, but this is a white one. So here we have the device. I think it's uh, probably possible to open the back cover here. So let's actually get rid of this. Uh, I'm actually using uh, USB type C for charging. So. Let's get rid of this. So uh, I think that's the indicator for actually opening up the back cover. As you can see here. Yeah. So let's open up the groove here. Yeah. Oh, pretty easy. So as you can see here, yeah, this, this is the loudspeaker on the back below this grill here. Yeah. And uh, these are uh, the holes for the microphone, seems like. And uh, here's the battery. Oh, it's a removable battery, I guess. It's a 3340 mAh removable battery, massive battery in there. Let's actually try if you can remove it. Not really sure if it's removable, but yes, it's actually removable. So it's a massive 3340 uh, milliampere battery. Okay, the SIM sit uh, over here. So as you can see, this is the SIM 1, which is uh, the Nano and SIM 2 is as also a Nano. So both sit here. So there's one here as well. Uh, where's the micro SD card slot? Okay, the micro SD card slot is over on the top. So the SIM 1, I think for the SIM 1, you have to remove the battery. And for the SIM 2 and uh, uh, I think SIM 2 as well, you need, I don't know if you have to remove the battery for accessing this, I don't think so. But for the memory card slot, I don't have to really bother uh, accessing the, removing the battery. It just goes in here, pop in and pop out. It's got 32 gigs of internal storage and it supports cards up to 200 gigs. So we have a 200 gig card, so it should be about 250 gigs on the phone, which is crazy. 
So as you can see in the back, you also have the circuit here. This is actually for the Qi wireless charging. So the 950XL supports wireless charging out of the box, which is pretty handy. And it's nice that the back cover is actually uh, the one which dictates the color of the device. So in case you get a, get hold of a black back cover, you can actually change your phone into a black phone because the front is anyways black. So, so that's the wireless charging connector here. And uh, yeah, so you can just put the phone, we'll demo that as well later uh, on a wireless charging pad. So let's put that back. So let's take a look at uh, what else is in the box and actually in the, let's power on the phone in the middle while. And the best thing about this phone uh, is you actually have a camera key. I love the iPhone camera, but then there's no uh, on uh, like a physical uh, camera key. Only I think uh, very few manufacturers uh, remember to put uh, uh, hard key or a camera key. I think Sony does it and apart from that nobody else does it. Nokia has been doing it for their camera phones, the 1020 had it, they are uh, PureView had it. So Microsoft uh, is still continuing to do that with the uh, 950XL. So lovely to have the key for your camera and considering this has a really awesome 20 megapixel camera and a 5 mega megapixel front facing camera. So you have uh, separate uh, volume rockers. And this seems like the power button. So let's power it on. So no other keys on the outside. It's got USB Type-C as you can see here. There's a microphone uh, here as well. So let's power it on. Um, not sure if it's powering on. Yeah, it's powering on. You see the Microsoft logo. And let's take a look at what else is in the box while it's powering on. So it's got product safety info. Welcome, get started guide. So here we have it. So the indications for your device. So it's also got this Windows Hello beta, which you can actually unlock the phone by looking at it, which is pretty cool. And so it's got a USB-C, not a micro USB. So they're warning you not to break your phone. And then, yeah, so that's pretty much it. So you have a microphone over here, there's a microphone on the top, and then there's another microphone on the front, so three microphones, and one loudspeaker here. So. That's about it. So let's put this aside. So let's see what is here. So I'm thinking you should have the USB type C cable. All right. So you have get some uh, standard set of uh, earphones, nothing fancy. Oh, it seems pretty good in terms. Of, I think it seems like a in-ear ones are not really in-ear. Okay, it's just not really in-ear, but uh, seems pretty decent for a pair of earphones. So that's what you get in the box. You also get, uh, oh, okay. So you have a USB type C wall charger. This one supports quick charge as well, considering it's powered by a Snapdragon 810 processor running at two gigahertz. It's got, it's got three gigs of RAM. We'll walk you through the specs once we have the device powered up. So as you can see, this is the USB type C wall charger and the cable is not removable. So it comes uh, with the charger itself. So you don't, you can't remove it. Um, so that's the charger. So also get a nice cable. I'll probably use this for my MacBook for charging. It's a USB type A at one end. It's a 3.1 cable, USB 3.1, and it's got USB type C on the other end. So this device supports USB 3.1 speed. So in case you have a com compatible computer with 3.0, uh, USB 3.1, you can actually transfer uh, like at a USB 3.1 speeds, considering this is a camera uh, monster, so I'm going to be really trying it out and transferring data over this USB 3.1 cable. Pretty nice of uh, Microsoft to include this. I think uh, some other manufacturer also did this recently with an Android device. I'm not really sure if it was LG or Huawei. I think Huawei did it with their 6P, not really sure. But yeah, Microsoft has done a nice job and uh, I wish even this was removable. But one way it's useful to have this uh, soldered onto the charger itself. You will not lose the cable and you know which cable is this for. But otherwise, you can't use this charger for uh, other phones, like by switching the connector. This is only for a Type-C device. And yeah, so this cable. So that's pretty much it in the box. Let's put this aside. So we have the device all powered up. So the device has been looking for me. That's because it's uh, got this new cool feature called uh, Windows Hello Beta. This is in beta. So you can basically look at the phone. It has an iris scanner using infrared and it looks here iris and it's unlocking the device. So it says move closer. Let me actually move the phone closer to me. It says hello and unlocks the phone. This is actually cooler than a fingerprint sensor because uh, it's just you and you have to look at the phone to actually unlock it. 
and uh, it's pretty nicely done. Um, so this is the device all set up. As you can see, it's been set up for India. A lot of apps preloaded here. You have Amazon, you have Uber, you have Uber finally on Windows Phone. Wow! So I've been uh, not I've not used Windows Phone quite a while now. I think the last device I used on Windows Phone was probably for the longest time was a Lumia uh, 1020, and after that probably the 1520 for a bit. So good to be good to see that the Windows app ecosystem is evolving. So you see Continuum will be demoing that later, and let's actually walk you through the hardware. So let's go into the settings so as i told you it's powered by a qualcomm snapdragon 810 processor clocked at 2 gigahertz and it's an octa-core processor it's got 3 gigs of ram on the inside and uh, it's got a 5.7 inch beautiful display it's a clear black display it's got a massive resolution of 2560 by 1440 pixels which is basically a tablet kind of uh, kind of resolution on this device so you have that and it's got 32 gigs of internal storage out of which we'll check how much is available so you have 4.48 uh, GBs used out of the 29.1 GB. So you have roughly about 25 odd gigs and you also can put in a 20, 200 gig SD card which gives you about 225 gigs which is crazy. And it's also a dual nano SIM as it showed you in the unboxing on the back. So you have two network indicators here for your networks and uh, it's got a 5 megapixel camera on the front here along next to the earpiece. And on the back you have this massive uh, 20 megapixel module and it's got a triple uh, LED flash here and you have this loudspeaker here, you have the microphone here and the bottom as well. It's got Carl Zs optics, pure view optics as well and uh, you have this uh, camera key which I told you about previously and you have the power lock switch and the volume locker, all separate buttons and on the bottom you have the USB type C connector port and on the top you have the headphone jack bank in the center and nothing on the left, back cover is actually removable and reveals the battery. Let's actually show you the Windows version 2. So this is a Lumia 950 XL dual SIM version running on Windows 10 mobile, 3 gigs of RAM and the OS version is 10.00.10586. So looking forward to uh, trying this out. So to check out our other videos about the 950XL2, we'll be making a bunch of videos. So do a like if you like uh, this video and do stay tuned to our channel for more videos. And if you have any questions about the Windows phone or 950XL, do ask us in the comments. I'm actually going to be checking out the camera on this too. So in case you have any questions about that as well, do uh, check, uh, reach us out. And thanks for watching and see you in the next video. That was a quick unboxing and uh, look at the Microsoft Lumia 950XL.